agree. We often say crime can happen anywhere, and thieves target City Hall. Let's get out to Steve. Well, Thomas, this is unbelievable. Philadelphia City Hall, the latest crime target, yes. And how is that possible with all the security and all the traffic constantly around here? And with so much elaborate things all over City Hall. Look at these brass plaques, bronze plaques up on City Hall. Greg, come on over here by the archway, and you'll see, Thomas, these are very valuable to a scrap dealer. But if a scrap dealer got this, you would think, I'm not going to melt that down and buy this. Same goes for the railings that you may have even noticed barely when you walk around City Hall because there's so much to look at. Uh, but you see these with the gargoyle faces on them. This is very heavy, very elaborate, and very, very old, maybe over 100 years old. And a longer section than this one, maybe four or five times long as that, where you see it in City Hall. But behind that generator and that fence, the complete section is gone. Gone as of late last week. Here's video now and pictures. And you can see they cut away from a one section that is visible to anybody driving by to do the part that is invisible. So they use that generator and that fence as cover in the middle of the night to cut away and then somehow carry away this very heavy, long stretch of brass railing that has been around City Hall almost for as long as the building has been here. How is that possible? That is the question Philly police detectives are on right now. It's right outside the windows of the election office there on the first floor. So obviously nobody's in those offices in the middle of the night, but somebody looked out the window Friday and realized, oh my God, the rally's gone. And yes, there are cameras here. As we come back out of that video, there's a camera right here above it. So obviously Philly police are going and gathering all the video and trying to get a clear shot of the thieves carrying this heavy railing, who knows how many trips it took, into a waiting vehicle to take to a scrap dealer. This is right across the street from the Philadelphia District Attorney's Office front door and right across the street from Macy's. And that is also a court building there. So there's cameras over there at Macy's along with cameras at the front of the Philadelphia District Attorney's Office. So hopefully they have video of this vehicle and hopefully any scrap dealer who's watching this and sees this now and will notice this railing, Greg's going to go up to this section here and show it to you. You would think no scrap dealer is going to buy that without asking, where in the heck did this come from? And Thomas, I can assure you that as nice as your house is, you wouldn't buy this from somebody just to put in your backyard around your barbecue pit. So this is only going to one place, and that would be to a scrap dealer. The same people that are buying all the catalytic converters that are being sold off and stolen so many vehicles these days. And that is the root of the problem, detectives tell you. These unscrupulous, as a detective used the word, to describe scrap dealers who would buy tens and tens of catalytic converters for people would be the same that might buy this, knowing even after this is in the press that this is stolen right off of Philadelphia City Hall. And this is on the other side of the building from where Christmas Village is now, where they have a ton of allied security officers working. If you've been to Christmas Village, you notice that team wearing the yellow jackets and the blue. They're every 20 feet or so. But they didn't come over here, obviously. They do have private security around the year here at Philadelphia City Hall. But if they're circling the building, they're not going to see anybody cutting that away behind that fence right there, Thomas. So that generator is there because Philadelphia City Hall has had some power outages, and that's there in case they need it for power for the building. And now they've lost a historical section of railing. And Thomas, we all remember back in 2016 when a thief cut the brass railing off the stairwell of the Union League, which is just right down Broad Street from City Hall, and it damaged the steps real bad. So this is the second brass railing theft within the last six years in this like 300 yard stretch between City Hall and the Union League. Thomas? Yeah, certainly a bold move and hopefully we'll have some surveillance video to show here shortly. Steve, keep us updated 537.